Hey everybody, today we're making loaded potatoes and these are delicious and savory. Probably not something you wanna eat every day or every week even, but occasionally it's nice to indulge. So these are loaded up with some bacon and chives, some cheddar cheese, sour cream, butter, a little bit of milk, they are delicious. And I have an ingredient in here that I like to add that I think takes it over the top. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What do you call a potato with a broom? A sweet potato. To start our recipe, I'm gonna take four medium-sized russet potatoes and I'm gonna give them a good scrub. We're gonna get off any excess dirt and then I'm going to poke holes in them and then I'll wrap them individually in foil. And these are gonna take about an hour to bake in a 400 degree oven. Let me show you my secret ingredient that makes these just spectacular, a bulb of garlic. We're gonna drizzle it with some olive oil, wrap that up in foil and place it on the baking sheet with the potatoes. Check your garlic after an hour and the time on the potatoes will vary depending on how big they are. That's about 50 to 70 minutes. Next up, we're gonna cook some uncured applewood smoked bacon. Place a large frying pan over medium heat. I haven't turned it on yet, but I'm going to. And I'm placing six slices of bacon in there. I like to have a little extra, sometimes for tasting, and sometimes I like just a little extra bacon. Turn your bacon over frequently if you like it flat and straight. Once it becomes crispy, then you know it's done. Take it out, place it on a paper towel covered plate, and then later you can chop it up. Now it's time to prep up our other ingredients. Now this one is uh, cheddar cheese and I like to grate my own because I don't like to buy shredded cheese just because it already has these mold inhibitors in it. If you'd like to find the written recipe, just check below this video in the description area. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why did the potato cross the road? He saw a fork up ahead. After an hour, my potatoes and the garlic were done. Test your potato by just piercing it with a fork and if it goes in without too much resistance, you know it's done. And check out this garlic, look at this. It is golden brown and the smell is incredible. You're gonna love this. Okay, so take your potato and cut it lengthwise in half or thereabouts. I'm gonna let these cool for about five minutes so they're easier to handle. It's time to grab a spoon and gently scoop out most of the inside of the potato. Try not to tear at the skin and leave about maybe a quarter of an inch of potato in it so that it has some structure and it will be, you know, it'll hold up for when you restuff it. So take your time while you scrape out each potato half. So this is what they should look like by the time you're finished and all of the potato we scooped out will go into a nice medium-sized bowl. Now I'm gonna take that beautiful bulb of garlic and I'm going to put all of it into these potatoes. You can see how soft those cloves are, right? They're soft like butter. So what I do is take a knife and I just poke each one out until I can't get any more out. And then I will squeeze it trying to get every last bit out of it. I'm gonna give this a little mash just to get it started and then I'm gonna add some sour cream. I like to use Daisy sour cream because, well, check out these ingredients. They're plain, clean, and simple. Let me know down in the comments if you read ingredient list. In goes the sour cream along with some softened butter. Then we'll mash or smash that together, just like we would the like button, if you're enjoying the video, until it's nicely combined. But you don't want to overmix. Otherwise, your potatoes might get a little gummy. Next, I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of chopped chives. I'll give that a little mix. And then I'm going to add some whole milk. It's a good idea to warm the milk so you don't cool off your potatoes. And then we'll mix that in. Potatoes need a fair amount of salt, so be a little generous here. Now it's time to add some of that delicious bacon we chopped up and save a little bit so that we can sprinkle it on top at the end. 
and always add just enough milk until you get the texture that you like. Just mix it in and add some and then give it a taste. I'm going to add some cheddar cheese to this mix and it's going to make it nice and creamy. Grab a spoon and then we'll just fill each potato half with our filling. You want to mound the potato mixture up pretty good just because it looks better, you know, and it, you want a nice amount of potato in there. Once you get all the potato halves filled, we're going to start sprinkling that with some bacon on top. Not only does it look good, but it tastes delicious. For more color and curb appeal, we're going to add a little bit more of the chives and then we'll finish it off with a sprinkle of cheese so that can melt over the top and just, you know, look amazing. At this point, I realized I forgot to put some parchment paper down on the pan, so I went ahead and did that. The cheese won't stick and it'll be easier to clean up. I'm going to place these back in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for maybe about 15 minutes, maybe 20, just until that cheese melts, gets nice and bubbly, and everything is heated through. Here they are out of the oven, and check this out. Man, they look good, don't they? These are incredibly flavorful with everything that we put in it, especially the roasted garlic. Takes them over the top. You're gonna love these. These twice-baked potatoes would go perfect with my filet mignon here. Check out the recipe, click the link on the screen, it'll take you right to it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.